If you have student loan debt, the grace period to pay is coming to an end. The extended student loan pause expires in less than 30 days. Lakita Johnson spoke with a student loan expert who shares ways to prepare if you owe. Life for us all has changed significantly from COVID-19 to inflated gas prices. And now you can add student loan repayments to that list. They're set to begin next month. Next to your mortgage or your rent payment, it's probably the biggest debt you have outstanding for most of us, which is incredibly daunting. Student loan expert Mary Jo Lambert Terry says it took her up to 10 years to pay off thousands of dollars in debt. What I did was if I had any extra dollars, even if it was a really small amount, I was like, I need to put that towards my student loans. And I actually created a calendar to where I felt successful. I made myself say, oh, I could pay an extra $25 or I paid an extra $10 or I paid an extra $50. Now Mary Jo wants to see people who are in similar situations become free of student loan debt. Find a way, whatever it is, whether it's putting a note on the wall, putting a post-it next to your computer, putting something showing that you're making progress on this. It'll keep you encouraged and moving forward. In December, the Biden-Harris administration extended the student loan payment pause until May 1st. According to the Student Debt Crisis Center, in Tennessee alone, borrowers have racked up more than $30 billion in student loan debt, and the average borrower in the state owes more than $36,000. Mary Jo says there are ways to prepare. The first is to be sure that your information is updated and that you are aware of how you have your payments set up. Especially if you were on auto debit, right? It come May, we don't want you to have money taken out of your bank account that you weren't expecting or you can't afford. She says talking to your loan servicer and visiting studentloan.gov will also help you to figure out which repayment method is best for you. If you can't make your monthly payment or you're still unemployed, there's income driven repayment programs. There's economic deferment programs. You may need to refi all of your loans together, extend your term, lower your payment. In Memphis, I'm Lakita Johnson. There are also public service loan forgiveness programs, income driven repayment programs and ways to consolidate your loans. For more information, just visit our website, abc24.com.